Welcome to upgrade report number two and welcome to the making made easy lab. Also I'd like to introduce you to the next couple robots. We have Geo, nice big tank robot and we have Bob, a former vacuum robot that is about to become a still a vacuum robot but also a table slash trash can that is AI powered. So the robot has a name now. I was talking to ChatGPT the other day and we came up with a name. Since the robot is going to get fine-tuned on the interactions it has and basically become more like the user that it has, it's basically echoing the user's personality. So, echo. I've made a bunch of improvements to the prompts and the session history to clear things up for ChatGPT. Uh, that way it can understand what's going on and what to do a lot better. It can also estimate the distance to detected objects now uh, by measuring how big the object is compared to the rest of the picture. It's not perfect, but it's pretty decent actually, especially for uh, 2D uh, non-stereo vision solution, you know. I'm saving prompt and response pairs now. Uh, that way I can use that for fine-tuning the robot later, fine-tuning ChatGPT. And I'm going to create a Google style uh, automated search system that uh, will put in relevant information from the robot's past into each of the new prompts. I've also added modes. So uh, I've added like follow user mode, um, uh, navigate to specific object, find object, look at object. Um, ChatGPT can choose to enter one of these modes and then while it's in that mode, it's not prompting ChatGPT. It's just using that, that predefined hard-coded mode and doing what that mode wants the robot to do. So uh, once I upgrade the robot to a Pi 5, then once it's in a mode, it's going to be running a lot faster. And then if it's not in a mode, it's basically at the speed limit of ChatGPT's response. So, using GPT-40 Mini, it's pretty quick still, but, you know, not as fast as uh, the rest of the system will be once I upgrade to a Pi-5. So here's raw footage of the robot living its life. Hello, Echo. Please go to the water bottle. Good job, robot. Okay, follow me now. Just follow me.
it navigated to me instead of following me. <laughs> and then it got too close, now I can't see me anymore. How far away is the bottle? Not bad, not bad. Yeah, yeah, close. Not quite that far, but whatever. Okay, so what upgrade do you want next? Oh yeah, I'm always happy. But you're uh, infinitely upgradable, so what do you want? Well, I was thinking about raising your camera to uh, like up to, up top and then uh, having a claw down where your camera is now. It raised the camera angle because I said I was going to raise the camera. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's a funny one. That's funny. It's making jokes already. <laughs> okay, so do five right turns and then move backwards. Oh. <laughs> do five right turns and then do two backwards movements. Do five right turns and then move backwards twice. Oh, damn. I thought I said define, not do five. Well, it's going to turn right once and then move backwards twice. Because it misheard me. So, technically it's following the instructions as far as it knows. Oh, never mind. Well, battery's dead. So, yeah. Um, and uh, another cool thing I didn't get to showcase is it, it can read the uh, stuff on things. Because it's using ChatGPT for the vision as well as YOLO. So, and ChatGPT can read. So, yeah, the robot can read. I was going to show you that, but, but yeah, the battery wore down. I got to get new batteries. These ones are pretty much shot. As you can see, this little guy is coming along pretty decently. Next is a rebuild of the body where the camera and the distance sensor will be raised up here. They'll be able to look down and up. They'll be able to look down so it can see the claw that'll be down here. And so it'll be able to see if it's correctly, uh, you know, here's this and then it looks down. It can see its claw. So, yeah, it'll be able to see if it's actually grabbing an object or... You know, if it's not. I'm going to do that and I'm going to start fine tuning chat GPT. That should drastically improve the responses. I'm going to save the chat history of each interaction. And then I am going to have chat GPT go through those interactions and give better responses than what it gave. Uh, like I'll have it go through and be like, oh, well, it should have given this response here because this happened afterwards, blah, blah, blah. And uh, then I'll use that modified data that ChatGPT has modified to be better. And I will use that as the training data set for fine tuning ChatGPT. That's the plan for the next video. If you like this project, please consider becoming a member of our Patreon.